What's up guys? Obviously it's Captain Obvious, and I got some drop zone gameplay on Modern Warfare 3 for you guys today. I'm playing on the map Interchange, and before we get into the commentary, I want to say one thing about how I play drop zone. You will not see me going for the objective because I am the slayer in this game type. When I'm playing with a full team of six, we always have five people go for the objective and the other one person, which is me, kill the enemies and keep them off the objective, so that's how I play. So don't get angry with me for not PTFOing, I'm doing my job in our team. But, I'm going to talk about today what I talked about on Monday in relation to Battlefield 3. What I said about Battlefield 3 is how it's changed so much between Battlefield games. It's really not as much of a, you know, an experience that is game winning. They're always trying to find their niche. The Call of Duty is changed too little. And that's what I'm going to talk about in this commentary. COD is one of those games where they found their game winning formula. And they've been sticking with it ever since COD 4. And that is your perks. You got your kill streaks and everything like that. Now, Call of Duty is changed too little, and the reason I say this is because you always have your small maps, you have the same gun attachments, you have your same weapons in the game, you always have your perks, you have nothing, you know, inventive and nothing creative put into this game between the games. What do they add in? Customizable kill streaks? Is that really, really that interesting to add in the game? I mean, if they added in, like, different really radically different game modes like you can have um your team deathmatch and then you can also go to like base taking where you have to like take over base with the enemies defending it and then you move on to another section of the map like it's kind of like that game mode from halo where you always moved up the base and you had to take those objectives and the game map was always changing you, new parts opened up you got new vehicles and stuff like that not exactly like rush from battlefield 3 when you're always going for you know like a a bomb plant you can be going to take over the space pull up a flag and then you can go over here and you know take a parking lot you know stuff like that try to change up the game modes in this game to make it more enjoyable to the masses i mean all call of duty is team deathmatch and you know your objective your minor objective play it's not as intense as other games in their objective play but call of duty has that winning formula like i talked about in the other commentary where they just don't want to change the game, and they, they have most of the success in here. But I feel if Call of Duty wants to keep on going and resist any opposition from different games made by other creators, different games and other genres, they, want to, they have to change up the formula a lot. Call of Duty has been the same game for the past five games. Call of Duty World at War, World at War, COD 4, you know, we got Modern Warfare 2, Black Ops, and now this game... They've all been the exact same thing. You know, your close quarters combat. You got your unlocks. You got your RPG elements. But when you look at a game like Halo and how much that game innovates in its oddball game types, you know, your assault, your capture the flag, that a game mode that just escapes me where I was talking about where you attack the bases. And even Battlefield 3 adds in different game modes like that, the onslaught thing from Bad Company 2. They're always adding in new things that changes the game around so much. Yes, Call of Duty has Spec Ops, but how many people play that? It's two people only? You really can't have a party of like eight people having fun in that game. Another thing about Call of Duty is the environments. I mean, look at these maps. How many maps in Call of Duty are not urban? Three? And then you go over like a Halo or a Battlefield, and one could be in the middle of the desert, you know, in a tropical rainforest. And then you look at Call of Duty, and look, we're under a highway oh look we're in a town oh my god we're in a minorly populated city oh this is so intense they go for the urban warfare but it really doesn't work i mean all these modern military shooters they do different things battlefield has their jungles their deserts halo has their spaceships their docking yards for their spaceships they have their their mountains their lakes everything like that call of duty has cities and highways is this really what you want to play for the next five years that call of duty is probably going to be around for because it's never going to lose its thunder unless something else can pull its sails away and call of duty right now is so well embedded in the gaming community that it's probably not going to lose those sales so call of duty has to change its game winning formula to a different game winning formula that appeals to a huge audience and will change up the game no matter what you're doing battlefield has changed its game so much and that's kind of a turnoff to some people, but Call of Duty has to change up his formula and bring new elements into how the first-person genre works 
and make it way more appealing to a wider audience to make sure Call of Duty, if it wants to, stay on top. So I hope you guys enjoyed this commentary. Remember, check me out on Twitter and Facebook. My links are down in the description. And as always, rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. And now, for two of you you may have missed, the one on top is my most recent Battlefield 3 analysis episode. It was covering specializations. And don't forget to click the surprise video and Twitter and Facebook. And if you have yet to, make sure you subscribe to not miss these awesome videos I'm pumping out. Talk to you guys later. Bye.